Coach's Corner. All right. So um, I really do like doing these segments. Um, I, I like researching stuff and reading over stuff that I've, I've read before. Um, this uh, Coach's Corner kind of comes from a book that I have. It's called uh, Zen Golf. Um, I've started to reread it again um, while I'm preparing for, for these shows. And I think it's a great mental... Um, uh, a book on mental training that uh, we can use as bowlers, even though it's geared towards golf, a lot of the stuff can be transitioned over to uh, lawn bowling. Um, so what I'm going to talk about today is kind of give you an idea of the types of learners that we have. So as a player, understanding what am I um, giving to my training sessions and how am I preparing myself so that I'm the best learner that I can be soaking in the information and um, getting the most out of my training sessions. And as a coach, what kind of a learner am I dealing with and how do I handle them? Um, what kind of obstacles do we face as coaches and as players that um, cause us to not only not get the full amount of training, not get the information that we want, but also um, mix up some of the uh, the information so that our training doesn't really give us the benefit that we hope it will. Um, sometimes it's just a negative, right? So, um, what I what I like to say is empty the bowls back. So, um, in the book, it talks about glasses of water, and I'll probably refer to glasses of water. But um, just like some of us do in the spring, or maybe uh, just before we put uh, our bowls stuff away for the winter uh, here in Canada. Um, it's cleaning out that bowls bag. What is all the stuff that you collected over the years uh, or over um, some events that's just cluttering up your bowls bag? You know, can you fit your shoes in there? Can you fit um, your measure and, and your chalk and all the, the great stuff that you have in there? Is it just full with stuff that you just can't possibly get any more in? And as a learner, um, I want to go into training with as much of an empty bowls bag as I can. I want to take in as much as I can. I want to understand what's going on. I want to come in with a free and clear mind so that um, I'm not coming in with preconceived ideas and I can understand what is being said and what the coach is telling me um, so that I can take it back, work with it, and um, and get the most out of it. So as you can see, I got a picture of an overflowing water thing. So empty the bulls bag. Um, mentally, we can block ourselves and think that we know it all. So when we know it all, our cup is full. Okay, we don't need any uh, delivery information. We don't need um, tactical information. We know it all. We know what's going on. So if a coach or someone, you go in and say, you know, I want some training, but you think you already know it all, the coach is pouring that water in and everything's just overflowing. Okay, nothing is being saved. Um, it may replace some stuff and some stuff gets thrown out, but it's highly unlikely. It's just dumping, 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 and nothing's staying around. Um if you maintain that attitude, an attitude that you've got it all figured out, nothing's going to get in here, okay? This is going to be really hard to get in, uh, get some change, okay? Your glass is full. You've taken in everything and you cannot take in anymore, okay? Uh, you have your own perceptions and ideas about the about the game and how you want to play it. So what, what are you training for? What are you practicing for? What do you want coaching for? Okay, you can say you want coaching, but uh, maybe you don't really want coaching. Maybe you just want uh, someone to tell you that you're right and just keep doing what you're doing. Um, I think we all need to understand that we don't know it all. I, as a coach, don't know it all. I talk to coaches who have been doing it for decades who have a wealth of knowledge, and they'll tell me, I don't know it all. Right? Take in what you can from a person. As a player, take in what you can. Throw away what doesn't work. Okay, Some stuff doesn't work for everybody. And understand, take the good. You know, make your bowls game better. Empty that glass a little bit so you can actually fit some more stuff in there. Um, and like I said, empty your bowls bag and come in with room to take on new ideas and be that fresh new student that is excited to learn, um, to find new ways to improve. Um, kind of like we do when we're a new bowler. We come in and we don't know what's going on. We want to get as much knowledge as we can. Okay, what is the mat? How do I use the mat? How do I... A stand on the mat. Is my grip okay? Is my um, balance um, okay as far as my delivery goes? While an experienced bowler may already have a set way of doing things, things can be tweaked. Things can be um, made a little bit better. And it's always good to try new things and keep an open mind. 
and sometimes it doesn't work and that's okay but sometimes you find that gem that just takes you that one or two percent a little bit higher and uh that is so worth it it is so worth it can you learn and grow are you the type of player that can learn and grow um some people can't some people are just so set in their ways that um they're not going to get better and well they might not get any worse but they're stuck in that that rut and um they're never going to see that success because they're just on that straight line going forward right so i see this four kind of students okay and i'm going to use a cup analogy again um it's i think it's really good so there's the upside down cup right you think you you have an empty cup you think you're ready for knowledge but your cup is upside down so you're pouring that knowledge on top of it and it's just splashing off the top nothing is actually going to get in okay it doesn't matter how much room there is in the cup nothing's going to stick okay you're you're blocked off to new things you're blocked off to practice you you think that coaching possibly is not worth it you don't think that the person coaching you can offer you anything right you're just blocked off so nothing's going to get in um the empty cup with a hole in the bottom so you know you're ready to learn you look like you're ready to learn you're taking things in and um and interacting with the coach and, and getting some information but there's a hole in that bottom on the bottom of that cup and water is going to just keep leaking out um, nothing is retained so while some stuff may sit in the bottom a little bit most of the good information is just going to leak out that bottom because you're not there to to actually retain anything you're just going through the motions you can um recite what's going on for the short term but in the long term when you go back to your club and people say oh what did you learn and how did you do you're kind of like i can't explain it i don't really know and nothing really changes in your game right the dirty glass so sure your cup is pretty empty um you're able to pour in all this water and retain all this knowledge and you're actually listening and taking things on but the dirty glass clouds all that information so you've got all this residue that um you're, you're taking into the learning so you know you you have preconceived ideas about what you want your delivery to be you you have tactical knowledge and you don't want to really divert from that you're not willing to really branch out that much so when the coach tells you all these things you're basically clouding it with all your preconceived ideas and really looking to um, validate what you think is right and then ditch the rest so the, the water gets really, really murky. So you're not getting the most out of your training. You might get a little bit, but you're just not ready to fully embrace what's being said. And then obviously the last one is uh, the empty cup. That's the ideal student. Um, clean glass, ready to go, ready to fill up. Uh, you're there to learn. You're there to take things on. And you're going to go back to your club or wherever you are and practice those things. See if they work. Okay, sometimes... The things that you learned to add they're not quite doing what you think they do you can pour that water out a little bit but you take on the good stuff you you understand what you're looking for and how things are affecting you as a player okay you want to be that fourth one it doesn't matter if you're at the top of the game the middle of the game or the bottom of the game you want to be that empty cup go into training take in everything that you can and whether you're at the bottom and you're looking to jump your game 10 20 30 percent like a huge jump you're in the middle of the game looking for that extra boost so that you can compete nationally or you're at the top of the game you're just looking for that one to two percent edge so that you can start really winning those championship games you need to be that empty cup you need to be willing to take on instruction and understand that the coach is there to help you out they might not have all the answers they might not um, be able to give you all the solutions and all the things that you need but take what you can from them. They do off every coach offers something. You got to find what that is and um, and take that on. <clears throat> and when things get tough, all right. There's a there's a neat little story uh, in the book that I wanted to kind of talk about, and it's it's about uh, an emperor. Let's say. And he's traveling his kingdom, and it's a very rocky kingdom. The roads are rocky, the, the hills are rocky. There's not much uh, grass and stuff there. And he says it hurts his feet. He can't take anymore. He can't travel his kingdom. It, it's too tough. So his solution 
And the one solution he wants to go with is to cover all the roads in leather. That way, anywhere he walks, he's going to be comfortable. So he invites all the artisans there to, um, to offer their solutions and what it will cost them. So the first guy comes and says, I can do this. I can cover everything in leather, make your whole kingdom comfortable to walk on. It'll cost everything in your treasury. The next guy comes in and says the exact same thing. He says, but you know what? I can do it for half. And then the little old lady, which nobody actually um, gave a second look to, comes over and says, I can do everything that you want for $10. And the king's like, how can you possibly do all this stuff for $10? And her thinking, all I need to do is strap leather to your feet, and that'll cost $10. And you can walk everywhere you want, anywhere you want, and you'll have leather under your feet. So the moral of that story is, okay, you don't have to take everything at face value and what someone tells you you have to keep and keep going with so the king wanted everything covered in leather that's my only solution think outside the box okay when things get tough and the solution seems so or the the issue seems so big maybe the there's a small little thing that can actually shrink that problem down to a manageable size um just like the the cups you want to go in with an open mind because you never know what little nugget you're going to find that's going to help you in the in the long run. Things don't always, always go our way and conditions aren't always the best, but those that adapt and persevere will succeed. Okay. Um, complaining about conditions, green conditions, bowls, weather, it, it's only a distraction. Okay? It only leads down a path of um, dragging you down and so you're not succeeding. Okay, I'll, I'll go to a, a bowling green and if somebody's already complaining before the game is start, I know I've got the edge on them because they're really not looking for a solution. They're just wanting to complain and say, hey, my bowl's going to carry out. My bowl's in a rut. I can't get over this. They're not looking for a solution. They're just stuck in the problem. And like I said, take note of those who constantly and regularly complain about conditions, tournament structure, weather, greens, whatever it is and see how often they're actually succeeding at the game um, that they want to play. Are they actually doing well? Or are they just um, out there rolling bulls and hoping for the best? And be the person who can battle back in tough times. Learn to adapt, take on new things, be that empty cup. And uh, rather than seeing stuff in a negative, um, see it as a challenge to overcome. Um, and find solutions by looking at the whole solution, okay? You don't have to cover the roads. Maybe you just have to cover your feet. And I like to say this, there's no silver bullet. So think big, believe big, act big, and the results will be big, okay? No one has all the answers. No coach is going to be able to tell you that what they, what they do is the ultimate solution, okay? Someone can tell you they have the ultimate delivery solution. It's not true. They have the ultimate grip that you have to do. It's not true. Okay, not everything works for everybody. You have to find what works for you and work with that. I, as a coach, may be really good with one player and not so good with another. And then an opposite coach for me may be good with the other player and not so good with the one that I'm good with. That's the way that it goes. Um, players should take in as much information as they can to improve their game and learn to process it. Okay, take it in, keep it in, keep the good, release the bad. I learn to process this information so that you can retain what's really, really good. Um, think big and figure out where you want to go and how you want to get there. Get that roadmap, right? Think big, achieve big, okay? Um, and find those that can uh, help you. Not every coach is meant for every bowler, okay? Find the one that works for you. That's really, really important. And with that, that is Coach's Corner. It was a little lengthy, but I thought it was pretty important.